All right, hi guys. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a uh, spreadsheet in a PySimple GUI program. Um, we can add data, um, we can generate a CV from that data, and then we can clear it once we're done. Let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we've got main.py, and we're going to import uh, the PySimple GUI library as always. Uh, then we're going to import CSV because we're going to have some functionality related to um, actually taking the data from the program that's entered and turning it into a CSV. So now what we want to do is we want to create our headings. So these right here. Um, so because we've got separate components, we need to use loops to generate some of these. Um, our layout's going to be kind of split up. Um, the first part of our layout is going to be the header. And for now, that's just going to be a 1D array. So we're going to have our, our, head, our header, and then we're going to have multiple text elements for each of these. So let's go ahead and let's type in sg.text. Uh, the first one is going to be name. We'll have a comma, uh, sg.text address, another comma. We'll go ahead and kind of just copy paste this. And then we've got phone number and city. We'll make some additional modifications to this later, but for now, this is the bare bones of what we need. So that's our header taken care of. Um, now we're gonna create a variable called layout, and we're gonna store header inside. So this automatically creates our 2D array. We've got an array, and then inside we've got the 1D array for our header. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and let's create the cells. Um, now, kind of just out of efficiency, the way we're going to do this is we're going to um, create, we're going to use some for loops in order to create these cells. So let's say for row in range 0, 15. Now, the reason we have this is because we want to create 15 rows of cells. So each iteration in this loop is going to represent one row of cells. Um, so now for each of the 15 rows that we're going to generate, we're going to say layout.append. Rather, we can just say current row equals. And in each row, we're going to have four cells for the name, address, phone number, and city. And notice that these are all different sizes, all right? So first, we're going to have uh, sg.input size equals 15, 1. And then we're going to have pad equals um, 0, 0. And what this pad does is that allows us to eliminate any um, gaps between these cells so that it actually looks like a spreadsheet. And then we're going to have key equals row zero. And this is actually the most important part right here because this is what will allow us to later access the value in each one of these cells. So basically what happens is each time we iterate, each time we have a row, that becomes the index. And then right here, um, we have our um, column number. So this is our row number and this is our column number. So for example, um, for this cell right here, this would be the first row with index zero. So we'd have zero, zero, uh, row zero, column zero. Or right here, so this is column three. The index would be two though, because we're kind of um, indexing it like arrays. So we'd have column two and zero. So this would be two, zero. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this. Um, and we need some commas. And if you see right here, the address, so the middle two columns, so each of these represents a column. This is going to be the first column, which corresponds to name. This will be address, phone number, and then city. And these two middle columns are actually bigger than the others because they need to hold more information. So we're gonna change that to 31 and then 31. So basically we're running this loop 15 times and each time we're going to output a row of um, inputs. And each of those inputs will correspond to the name, address, phone number, or city, all right? Um, once we've done that, we're going to, so for each one of these iterations, we're going to append that current row to our layout. So we'll say layout.append current row. So keep in mind, all of this is in one array. So that means that's how we get all of these lined up in a row. Same thing with the header. This is just one 1D array, which is how these are all horizontally um, in a row. 
Now, we also want to make some modifications to the header given what we've done right here. So what we're going to do here as well is we're going to add uh, pad equals 00, zero um, so that there is no space between the columns for these as well. And also just so that their spacing corresponds to the cells we've created. And more importantly, we're going to add our sizes right here. So we'll say size equals 15.1 for this one. And then we'll add a column here. We'll say size equals, well, let me just copy paste first. Um, so right here we'll have 31, 31, and 151. And that, again, is just corresponding to um, these lengths right here for our columns. Uh, looks like you've got an error right here. Probably something with our parentheses. Size equals. All right. Ah, I guess we don't need this. Um, that's not the only error, though. Ah, here we go. We're missing a comma. Cool. And right here, we're missing a comma as well. OK, looks like that's sorted out. Uh, one last thing we want to do is we want to add justification. So we want to say justification equals C. And C actually stands for center. So that means that all of these within their respective columns are going to be aligned right in the center. And we're going to do that for each of them. So comma, justification C. Cool. OK, so we're good to go right there. Um, now let's move on. So we've kind of generated our rows of um, inputs. So basically all of our cells, we've generated our header. Now what we want to do is we want to generate these buttons. So we've kind of done that before. That shouldn't be too complicated for us. We'll just say layout. Well, we'll let's create, let's say, button row equals uh, sg.buttonSubmit. sg.button uh, generate CSV and sg.button clear. And we're going to append that to the layout again. So we'll say button row. Cool. Okay. Uh, now we can go ahead and create our window, um, which is pretty much the way we would usually create it. sg.window and spreadsheet layout and we're just going to kind of change the font we're going to make it font uh, career size 12. This kind of looks cool in this context okay and now we're going to create our event loop which is where we build in the functionality for each of these buttons so while true let's kind of scroll down a bit here actually we can get rid of this for now so we'll say while true um, event values equals window.read. Again, this is pretty standard. Um, if event in sg.win closed, exit, break. This is what allows us to exit the program. elif event equals submit. Um, this is sort of matching. This is what happens when we click on the submit button. Um, right now, we're just going to build in our events, and then we'll add the code in later for what happens when you click each button. So elif event equals um, generate CSV. And then elif event equals clear. OK, so let's start with submit. Um, what we want to do when we click on submit is we actually just want to print out the value in cell 00. And this is just kind of a proof of concept to show that it works. And the way we can now do that is we can just say print uh, values 0, 0. Now, the reason this works is remember, like normally, if we have an input and we have a key that's like key equals, let's say, um, uh, 
in, then we would just have values in. But right here, we basically have a pair of numbers separated by a comma, which is why we can do this. We can essentially just put in the coordinate and we can just say, uh, get the value from there and print it out. So this one should get the value from um, cell zero, zero, which is right here. Column, row zero, column zero. Now what we wanna do is we wanna also take the information and turn it into a CV. So what we're, our CSV. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a function called generate CSV um, that takes in the headings um, that are specified right here and uh, the values, which will have everything from our inputs. So actually I need to create a headings array for these. So we'll just create this right up here. Headings equals name, address. I'm sure there's a slicker way to do this with a loop, but whatever, not that life-changing. All right, and city. Cool, all right. Um, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, def generate CSV and headings values. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to write some code to allow us to just create the CSV first. So we'll say file equals open. Um, we'll just call our file spreadsheets.csv. Um, w for write, and this will also create a, um, a new CSV file if it doesn't already exist. Encoding equals UTF-8, which is fine because we only, we're mainly just working with English language. And then uline equals so creating a new line after each row. And we'll create the writer object. So writer equals CSV dot writer file. Um, and now what we wanna do is first we wanna write one row to our CSV. So we'll do um, writer dot write row headings. So first we wanna write our headings. That's gonna be the first row in our CSV document. Also, if you're not familiar with what a CSV is, it's pretty much like an Excel spreadsheet, um, but it takes more of the form of a text file, and every value in each row is separated by columns. Now, if you try to, you can actually open this in Excel and use it as you would an Excel spreadsheet. That's what makes it so valuable. It's just an easy way to take large amounts of data and output it from a Python program. Now that we've done this, we're gonna kind of uh, mimic this functionality right up here to an extent. Um, we're gonna say for row in range 15, which is the same thing, um, current row. We're gonna create an empty uh, array called current row. And so we're gonna select each row, and then in each row, we're gonna go through each column in that row. So for column in range four, um, current row dot append, uh, values row column. So we're kind of just following the same format as, as we followed right here and we indicate it right here in our keys. So we're gonna go through, um, we're gonna go to each row, we're gonna go through each column in that row, and then um, append it to an array called current row. And then each time we do that, we're gonna say um, writer dot write row, current row. And that means that each row will get written to a new row in our CSV file. Um, now that we've done that, we're pretty much done. We can just say file.close, all right? Um, now, next thing we wanna do is we want to create the functionality to be able to clear all values once you've input them, all right? So we're gonna write another function for that. It's gonna be called clear all. And we're gonna enter window. So we need to write that function, clear all, def clear all, window, for row in range 15, for column in range four, um, window, row, column. Again, getting the um, key that we indicated right up here. So we're basically gonna go through each row column, each cell, and then we're going to update it to be blank. So we'll say update, and then we just have an empty string. 
So that's about it. Let's go ahead and let's close our demo application right here and test out the application we just wrote. Okay, we've got some kind of error right here. All right, so it's clear we've probably got something right here. Ah, these are all the same. So actually this should be zero, one, two, and three for each column, my bad. That's a pretty crucial error right there. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and try to run it. Okay, that works. Cool, so let's go ahead and type something in and try to generate a CSV. Okay, we've generated a CSV right here and we've got some data. Actually, let's clear this and let's delete this and let's try to create something that's maybe a bit more logical. Mm, so let's say name a myth, address 23 run street, phone number, something like this, and city New York. And say John 25 John Street, um, Queens. Let's go ahead and generate a CV. And we've got our first two rows there as they should be. And we can go ahead and clear everything and we're good to go. Okay, so that's about it for um, creating our spreadsheet. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and found value in it, uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a nice day.